These fights happened in Brazil in 1975. The karate team preferred to fight on tile as they were sure they would not end up on the ground. So mats were placed around the arena to prevent them from running away. Once the top position is accomplished, unless the fighter is familiar with the right way to escape, he's very vulnerable to get hit. The Gracie Jiu Jitsu representative on top is only 13 years old. His matches are scheduled for 10 minutes each. As it turns out, all the fights put together did not last more than 10 minutes. To avoid getting hit on the face, the man on the bottom will turn to his back. Which does not solve his problem. And he will tap out or pass out. In this fight of mine, notice the karate man getting ready for the perfect punch. I am keeping my distance. Once the inevitable clinch happens, there's not much he can do. I'm taking my time, establishing my base on top of him. He's jumping to try to hit my head on the ground. This is Carlos Gracie. Notice that he cannot hit me from his position, but I can from mine. I will place one hand on the collar and get ready to put the second hand around his neck for the choke. Observe his legs going limp, and as he wakes up, he doesn't know what happened. In this next match, my brother Helson dashes into his opponent maintaining a close distance to avoid getting hit. With this nice throw, he'll take the fight to the ground. He will position himself for a series of punches. And as the opponent lifts his arm to keep health on way, He's caught in the arm lock. This is the crazy Jiu Jitsu man. Even though he gets nicked as he comes in, he manages to stay in clinch, flips his opponent, and takes the top position. By the leg movement of the person on the bottom, we can see he doesn't know what to do. He is really lost. In order to not to get hit in the face, he's trying to turn around. His arm gets stuck. He manages to turn around and ended up being choked from behind. My brother Halls on the left in this next fight will take on the owner of the karate studio who happens to be about 40 pounds heavier than him. Slips under the first punch 
and observe how easy he picks up his opponent. He establish his top position. Hit the man a couple of times to soften him up. And don't go for the choke. 